Hello and welcome everybody, King Demps here bringing you a quick preview of Group C of the Blast Pro Series. Uh, this is the fall edition of the tournament. Now we'll just get straight into it. The opening round, first game we have Na'Vi versus OG. Now these are the two teams I expect to successfully make their way out of this group. Um, I think they're the two strongest teams in terms of form coming into the group. In terms of peak level, OG and FaZe, you can probably make arguments between the two. Uh, but OG definitely come uh, off the back of their EPL run, which was impressive. Uh, they looked good up until their semi-final against Vitality, where they got pretty handily beaten there. So to discuss the first series between Na'Vi and OG, um, first off, let's look at the map veto. Both of these teams perma ban Vertigo. So that's going to be the first interesting kind of battle of the veto phase is who is going to leave vertigo on the board and force the other team to ban it i think it comes down to who has the first ban at the end of the day um it will be important to see if the first ban it, i'll be honest if i had the first ban i would not ban vertigo if i was og and i had the first ban i'd ban something like nuke if i'm navi and i have the first ban i probably ban something like i might even ban mirage probably um and just take away og's best map so that's going to be the first kind of battleground of the series before they even get on the server is what's going to happen in the veto with Vertigo. Now, I suspect that in terms of picks, if Mirage is not banned and left on the board, we will see Mirage. I'm pretty sure OG will try and pick it. Um, if they don't pick it, Na'Vi also picked it three times at ESL Pro League. It was Na'Vi's most picked map behind Nuke, which they picked four times. I'd be very surprised if OG let Nuke through in the series. I think Nuke, OG are almost going to have to change their perm ban away from Vertigo and ban Nuke because I think if they let Nuke happen in the series, there's almost no way they can win it. They're not going to win that map. Nuke is one of OG's worst maps. They don't play it that often, but it is not a good map when they do play it. They have done pretty poorly on it recently. Whereas Na'Vi are obviously the best Nuke team in the world right now. Massive win rate. Simple is like unstoppable on the CT side. So I don't think OG want to let Nuke come through in the veto. Fortunately for them, because Na'Vi tend to ban Vertigo, there is a chance that OG could not ban Vertigo and get Vertigo banned by Na'Vi and then get to ban Nuke themselves. In any case, I would probably go into that veto as OG saying, screw it, we'll let Vertigo through, maybe Na'Vi don't ban it as well, and we'll just take the risk on playing that map. Because Na'Vi don't play Vertigo, we don't play Vertigo, it's a high variance map, considering we're playing the best team in the world, I think it makes a lot of sense for OG to just not ban Vertigo and ban Nuke. Now for Na'Vi, I would probably just play it safe and straight up ban Mirage. Um, Mirage is OG's favourite map. I don't think it's OG's best map. I actually think they're better on Inferno, personally. I prefer them on that map. Um, I think their Mirage is somewhat shaky. So just for some context, this is OG's recent history on Mirage. And as you can see, they lost it to Vitality. That's no shame. Vitality are one of the best teams in the world right now. A very good Mirage team. Probably something that is a little bit more worrying is that they lost it pretty convincingly 16 or 8-16 to Forza in the ESL Pro League. Forza, Mirage is, was their home map. They were on a crazy win streak on Mirage. So again, maybe that isn't too much to read into. But as you can see, they haven't really had to beat anyone world class on that map. G2 were not in world class form as ESL Pro League. Otherwise, you could say that's a pretty legit Mirage win. But the only really super legit team they played on that map recently is Vitality, and they lost the map. So I know Mirage is OG's favorite map. I know it's their kind of home map. They'll pretty much pick it whenever they can. I'm not fully convinced by it just yet. It's definitely a good map for them. I'm not sure it's a map that they can pick, knowing that they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe comfortably with the world's best on it. I don't think we're quite there with OG yet on that map. What else is interesting to note is that OG... It would really be a boon against Na'Vi to have Overpass in your map pool, but OG don't have it. It's their other ban. If they permaban Vertigo, if the other team bans Vertigo first, then they will either ban Ancient or Overpass. OG do not like Overpass. They don't like Ancient or Vertigo more, but Overpass is not a good map for OG. It's a map that they're not comfortable playing on, but it's also a map that is not good for Na'Vi. It's by far Na'Vi's worst map statistically. I still don't think they're terrible on it. I think if you've got Simple on the CT side of a map like Overpass, it's great orping map. You're going to potentially put up some huge CT halves just by virtue of having the best player in the world 
an amazing CT player who's great with the AWP on Overpass. But I still, it would be good for OG if they could go there, but they can't, so tough. If you're asking me what I expect to see in this series, honestly, I expect to see a Mirage. I don't think Na'Vi will necessarily ban that map. I actually expect that Na'Vi will probably ban Inferno because it is a map that they ban anyway, so I don't think we'll see Inferno. I think Na'Vi will ban Inferno of, or Vertigo first rotation. I think OG will probably ban Nuke first rotation. I think we'll get a Mirage pick. I think we'll get... I think we'll get a Dust 2 pick maybe from Na'Vi. So what do we got? Mirage, Dust 2. And what's the decider going to be? Well, if we're going to see Nuke and... Let's say Nuke and Inferno ban first rotation. Let's assume... I'm, do you know what? I'm going to take a, a risk here and I'm going to say we get Vertigo. Even though both teams ban it, I'm going to say both teams let it go all the way through the veto and that we maybe get Inver Vertigo as the decider. I don't think that's actually likely. I think... If anything, I think Na'Vi would probably ban its second rotation if OG left it up. Um, but I'm just going to go out and live and say we get Mirage, Dust2, and Vertigo. Oh yeah, and uh, oh, oh, it goes without saying, I expect Na'Vi to win. They're the best team in the world right now. They had a great EPL. They were great at Cologne. They're on the back of a three-tournament win streak. They won the CIS RMR. They won Cologne, and they won EPL. Um, OG, as good as they're looking, I think they have two major issues. One, Mantu, who has been one of their key players alongside Flames, tends to go missing in big series. And this is a big series for them, so I worry a little bit about Mantu. Uh, he's also an AWPer, and Simple is the AWPer on Na'Vi, so that's a tough AWP, the AWP head-to-head -to, -head to have to fight, especially when you're the star before your team. The other problem problem I see for OG is just map pool. You know, I've spoken about it in the veto. I don't think OG can get a good three maps against Na'Vi. I think the best they can hope for is a map that's good for them, but also good for Na'Vi. A map that's okay for them and okay for Na'Vi. And then a high variance map. The problem is I don't think that's enough to get a win in a best of three series against the best team in the world. So I see Na'Vi taking this one. OG have looked good recently, but I don't think it's going to be enough here. Moving on to the second series, Phase versus Complexity. Now, Phase is a team we can talk about more than Complexity. Obviously, there's huge excitement around Complexity because this is the first time they will be playing with Cold Zero as a stand-in. The problem is, is that it makes it tough to preview them because we can't say for certain exactly how they're going to show up. I doubt they're going to be at full strength yet. They haven't been with Cold Zero for very long. I doubt they've had huge amounts of practice time with him. And also, trying to analyze what they might do in the veto is tough because it might look different now that Cold Zero is in the team. With Complexity, the one thing I would say for certain is that they're probably still going to permaban Inferno. Blame F is a, an Inferno hater for whatever reason. Um, they ban that map, and they probably will continue to ban that map at this tournament. If I had to guess as to their pick, I think it will be Nuke or Vertigo. I get the feeling with Cold Zero on the team, it won't be Vertigo. Don't ask me why, I just can't see Cold Zero being a huge Vertigo adopter. Maybe I'll be totally wrong there, but... I think we'll probably see Complexity try and pick towards Nuke. But then again, Nuke is a map that Cod Zero never played with any of the Brazilian teams he was on. Who knows? <laughs> that That's, again, why I think the, the veto was a little bit difficult looking at Complexity is because with Cod Zero coming into the team, I was like, the two maps, Complexity, pick, pick, Nuke and Vertigo, I can't see Cold Zero wanting to play either of those maps. Like I say, MIBR luminosity whatever nuke was almost fame was always famously their permaban they were never comfortable playing that map so i mean vertigo is one that generally people don't like but i can see it being a map that is not going to be cold zero's wheelhouse particularly on the terrorist side anyway moving on to phase phase's permaban is vertigo so i don't think we will see vertigo in the series between phase and complexity now the problem for phase here is that not only do they ban vertigo which complexity like their second ban will either be overpass or nuke which is the other map complexity like to pick so two of phase's least favorite maps complexity like and phase can't both ban both in the first rotation so i think it's going to be interesting to see i think phase will ban vertigo go first rotation and I think Complexity will pick Nuke. And then I think FaZe will probably pick something like Mirage or Inferno. They have been experimenting with Ancient. However, they have a shaky record on it. They haven't, they haven't nailed the map instantly. 
Um, most recently at EPL, they got beaten 16-7 by Mouse on it. So I don't suspect FaZe will go near Ancient. So the maps I'm expecting to see for this one are, I think we will see a Nuke pick from Complexity. I think we will see a Mirage pick from FaZe. And then I actually think we might see Ancient or something as the decider. If we take a look at the map statistics here between the two, Complexity... Oh, I'm covering them up. <laughs> there you go, that'll do. Complexity have only had to play Ancient once. As you can see, Complexity have played a lot of Vertigo, but not done so well on it. So maybe FaZe would let Vertigo through the veto and just think. But then again, FaZe don't like to play it. So as you can see, Mirage and Inferno are FaZe's favorite maps. Uh, Mirage being their better map. I think Mirage will be the one that they will pick um, because Inferno is not going to get through. I think Complexity literally don't play Inferno. So I think Complexity will ban it. Maybe we'll see something like Dust2 as a decider. I think FaZe might ban Overpass second rotation. Uh, they'll ban Vertigo first, and then they'll ban Overpass second rotation, I reckon. So I think what we... Uh, so yeah, I think we will see Nuke. I think we will see Mirage. And I think we will see probably Dust2 as a decider. As for who I expect to win that matchup, I have to give the edge to FaZe just because they are playing with their full roster. Before the player break at Cologne and such, they were starting to look like they were powering up. They didn't have the best EPL, but they only went out by virtue of tiebreakers in their group. They will be disappointed to have lost to the series versus Fnatic, I think. I think if you ask FaZe, they would probably feel like they should be beating a team that's got a fresh roster, etc, etc. But Fnatic themselves had uh, potentially a little bit of a honeymoon period at EPL, so FaZe's e ESL Pro League wasn't too bad even though they didn't get out of groups they they did have a 3-2 record it was just by virtue of the weird tiebreaker system that was in place at epl that they ended up going out so i have to put my faith in phase um but i think this one i think this series could go either way complexity looked surprisingly decent in their asl pro league group with nato standing in it's going to be interesting to see how Cold Zera performs in place of NATO, particularly because Cold Zera is a player that typically requires resources to be put into him, whereas I think NATO is very happy to just play bitch roles and just fill in where the team needed. So it's a very different kind of stand-in than NATO, which makes me a little bit worried about how complexity are going to look. I worry a little bit about a balance of play there, because now... I'm not sure where the resources are going to go. The one blessing I think is that S attack tends to be a little bit more of a glue player. So potentially the balance of roles could work. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see complexity with Cold Zera. Um, I'm not sure what to, to make of them. And it, very difficult to call this series. As for what we'll see play out in the rest of the group, just to do a quick, I think Na'Vi will go through to the upper final, let's say phase, so we'll have Na'Vi phase there. I think Na'Vi should win that one comfortably to the group final, Na'Vi should win the group final comfortably. Uh, then we will see Complexity OG in the lower bracket, I expect OG to get through there, I expect OG to beat phase, and I expect OG to end up in the group final with Na'Vi. Now, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. If you did, you know the drill. If you did not, you also know the drill. Get out of here.